Today I'm going to give you a demo of the Azure Machine Learning Studio. This is also called Cortana. This is a tool we can use that integrates to nav, and we can use it to create different predictions. And we do this by creating different experiments. The main demo I'm going to show you today is how we can use the machine learning to create a demand forecast based on item ledger entry history. So I'm going to start off by showing you one of the experiments. I'm going to click, this is the Azure Machine Learning Studio, and we can download different experiments. So the first thing I do is connect to an experiment. And one thing you'll note, Microsoft provides a wide variety of sample experiments that we can use for different applications. And the one I've decided to download is an experiment called Dynamics Forecasting. This is a specific model. So right now I'm opening up that model and there's a predefined model here. And the way this model works is it takes input from a web service data set and runs it through this whole model. The setup of the model is here and you can see all the details. And it creates a web service output. And what this is going to do is take an input of data that we feed to the model and any parameters we've set up in the project. So for example, I could have different things for the horizon, so how many months I want to forecast, seasonality, and there's other parameters I can change in the model. And I'll be able to configure this model. So all of these different parameters are defined in the model. And then further down in the model, it's going to feed these different parameters, so whatever parameters I have, plus my input from the web service, and generate a forecast, and then retrieve, send the results out. So we'll be able to input data and then receive a response based on our forecasting model. So when we load in our forecasted sales, it's going to generate an output based on that forecast. And so once I download the model, if any make any changes, I can save it. And then what I'll do is I can run the model once. So once I run the model, it's going to test everything and make sure the model is valid. So right now the model's running. And then as soon as the model's done running, I can deploy it as a web service. When I deploy as a web service, it's going to create different connection strings. This is going to create, it's going to overwrite my service. And this creates a web service we can now use to integrate outside data. So now I have an API key. This API key is what I'll link to nav so I can feed data into that model and also receive the model. So this API key will transfer to my nav setup. Inside of Dynamics Nav, I'll have a code unit where I'll do some work and I'll create an API. So I've already done this before, so I, that API key is the same as the one I have saved. So now nav will be able to use that API key and also in the web services, we'll also configure a response. So in the response, we'll have all the responses we posted to a web service. So we can connect to that web service through a URL. We'll also paste that into our nav code unit. And then now we've done the setup, it's really that easy to integrate the API to nav. It's a couple of parameters. Once I've done that, then I can go to nav and I can use that forecast. 